While this is a simple mouse, this fix should work for other models, including wireless. And the problem here is with the scroll wheel spinning, but not scrolling or doing anything else on the screen. And it feels kind of loose when I spin it. To fix it, I will need to remove a single screw from here. But if you don't see any screws, you may need to peel off rubber feet and find one or more screws underneath. With the magic of editing, the screw is out. But here you have to be careful separating two sides. You may have a wire inside connecting top to bottom that you will have to disconnect carefully. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about that. Here's a better view of the mouse wheel spinning and clicking. But the green cogwheel is not scrolling at all. And that's the actual problem with this mouse. In order to fix it, I have tried compressed air blowing into that green wheel assembly, also called rotary encoder, but that did not help. Then I've tried an electronics cleaner, but that didn't help at all. I was resilient to use WD-40 oil because I don't know the long-term effect on the encoder, but I've tried it anyway. I sprayed the encoder, wiped off the excess oil, but that didn't help either. Somebody recommended to squeeze the encoder with a pair of pliers. And I suppose this may work if the frame is made of metal. But in my case, one side is metallic, but the other made of plastic. So I didn't want to crush the plastic. And finally, what actually worked for me was increasing the size of the shaft on the mouse wheel. And to do it, you can probably use any kind of tape you have at your home. If you use a thicker type of tape, you would probably need a tiny piece like this. But if you have a Teflon tape that is used for plumbing, it's incredibly thin. So you'll need a bigger piece like this. Place just the tip of the mouse wheel on one side of the tape and then kind of roll it over to increase the size of the shaft. This should be good enough. And the excess of the tape you can cut with scissors. Now insert the mouse wheel inside that green cog wheel. But first you'll need to lift up the circuit board just a little. If you make the tip a little too thick, it may not fit at all. So try again with a little less tape. And now when I spin the mouse wheel, the green cog wheel rotates as well. And that means it's fixed. The most difficult part of this was probably reassembly. Because the front end should be locked in first. And that took me a few times. Then reinstall the screw and you're all done. And if you found this video informative, hit the like button and thanks for watching.